All right, so I'm working on this Tillotson carburetor and the fuel inlet port is busted off. I'm gonna to try to get it out of there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with, this is the first time I dealt with this. I'm gonna to try to find a screw that runs that in there and see if I can just pull it out with that screw. So let's see what happens. I got the rebuild kit on the way, but I wanna get this apart to make sure I'm even good to go. So let's see if I can get that out of there just by using a screw. All right. All right, I got it out. Pretty filthy in there. So the fuel inlet port is pulled out after it broke off. And what I did is I took a tap. Can you see it? Let me see if I can get it focused. Took a tap, threaded it, and then I ran a screw up in there. So I did the screw up there, and I just used that screw as leverage to pull it out. So how I did it is, I put the screw up in the vise, like that, and then I had the carburetor sitting real close to the vise and I just stuck a screwdriver down in this little gap and pried out and it it pulled right out. So that's how I did it. So it's out. I got a new one ordered so it should be here soon and at least now I know I can start the process of doing the carb rebuild. Get this thing working again. The uh, inlet port was broke off and I got it out. And if anybody's wondering how to do it, that is my suggestion. Tap it out. I tried just running a regular screw in there and pulling it out, and it didn't work. I, like, I had to tap it and put a good machine-type screw in there to get it to come out. Like a normal sheet metal screw, they just it didn't bite enough to be able to pull it out. That thing's in there pretty good. So something for you to think about if it happened to you. All right. Until next time.